Hi folks and welcome back to Test Tuesday. Today we are covering off one of the most common things that I get asked about cabinet making and woodworking and working with MDF quite a lot. What are the best screws to use with MDF? Today I'm just going to cover off some tests on MDF face screen. So that is screwing in to this edge of the MDF or this side of the MDF, not into the edge. That's a different thing in going into the edge grain and there's a few other considerations that you need to take into account. I will cover that on a separate video. Today we're just talking about going into the face grain of MDF and this is for scenarios like fitting Euro hinges into MDF doors, hinge brackets, actually fitting physical brackets into the face grain of MDF. Uh, draw runners very commonly have to go into the face grain of MDF. And the thing is for this sort of scenario is you're generally gonna want a screw that's not gonna pop out the other side. There's so much wrong information out there about screwing into MDF. Just be careful what you read because I've done a quick Google search and found 90% of what I read was just absolute nonsense. For a start, MDF does not split if you screw into the face grain. It splits if you go into the edge grain. It doesn't split if you go into the face grain of MDF. You get a very strong fixing into the face grain. What MDF doesn't like, but to be fair, most woods don't like this, but MDF doesn't like screws being taken out and put back in and taken out and put back in because eventually the, the structure of the MDF just kind of disintegrates inside the screw hole so you lose any thread or you lose any fixing but for a, a one time fixing or maybe even a two or three time fixing so in other words putting the screw in taking it out and doing that up to two or three times ideally you want to just put the screw in and leave it that'll get you the best fixing but um, this nonsense about MDF splitting when you go into face grain that just doesn't happen and it's simply because of the, the structure of the MDF. How MDF is made in, in layers, effectively, kind of the, in the production process. So you can imagine the fibers are all orientated um, that way. And that's why it's more inclined to, to split along the edge grain. So I'm testing into Trupan non-MR MDF here, 18 mil MDF, really common size and type of MDF used for cabinet making in general for cabinet doors and all that sort of thing. I'm only going to be testing axial load. That is the pull out load and we're going to be pulling straight out from the screw hole if that makes sense. That's pretty much the worst case scenario that a screw is going to have to withstand in MDF. We've talked about it briefly for other fittings but you'll get a much much higher load on uh, shear force. So in other words, if, if we were measuring pulling that bracket upwards on the MDF, we would get a much, much higher reading. We're not going to cover that on this test. In this test, we're going for the worst case scenario, axial load or a tensile force on the screw. So I'm testing eight different types of screw here. And they're all, they all have their uses in different scenarios. So I'm gonna explain that as we get to each one. All I would say is you can buy, like in packs of 100 or 200 or whatever, you can buy all of these screws for under 20 quid. So I would suggest you just have all of them, but I will cover off at the end of the video my top three that I would recommend having in your toolkit or in your, your screw box all the time. Right, we're gonna crack on. We've got a lot to get through, eight separate tests. Right, first one we're testing is, uh, for some reason, this is the only one that's in Imperial measurements. I don't know why Easy Drive screws or this particular Easy Drive screw is measured in, in Imperial. Everything else is in metric, no idea why. Um, but this is an Easy Drive eight by half inch flange head screw. I really like the flange head screws for like brackets and stuff like that because it's got a flat bottom underneath the screw which makes it better for some types of brackets. 
It's also really good for things like draw runners. The only thing with draw runners is that sometimes the head can be too big and it can get caught on the runner, in which case you're gonna to have to go for a countersunk screw. But if you can get away with these, these do tend to give quite a good fixing, but let's see how we go. These are £1.99 for 100 of them from Screwfix, so not particularly expensive. Let's go for it. We are at just past, just past 50 kilos of axial load so far. Right, that's it gone. Gone. It definitely got past the 60. And we'll double check on the footage what that got up to. Right, second one we're going to test is a Turbo Gold 3.5mm by 20mm. These come in packs of 200 from Screwfix at £3.9 for a pack. It's a much more aggressive self-drilling type screw, very sharp point, available in gold or silver. I mainly use these, I must admit, for brackets into softwood rather than MDF um, because they're less inclined to split the wood because of the self-drilling tip on them. But they can be used for MDF. Obviously here, three and a half by 20 and we're in the 18 mil MDF. You've just got to watch that you're not getting a screw that's too long and the last thing you wanted is to go all the way through the other side and ruin someone's kitchen door. So you're not going to generally use a three and a half by 20 for things like Euro hinges. You'll probably use something slightly shorter. But for things, again, like brackets um, and draw runners and stuff like that, these can work quite well. They've got a much smaller head on them, so it does make it a little bit better for, for draw some types of draw runners anyway. The turbo gold screws as well, they've got a rifled shank on them and a self-drilling tip. The single thread and the self-countersinking screws as well. Let's just go for it. Seven kilos. Past 80, that's now past my entire body weight on a single screw. Holy moly. There it goes. Whoa. <laughs> For a tiny little screw like that. That's all it was. And it went oh, past 80 kilos. That's really impressive. I must admit, I thought with the more aggressive thread on it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have done as well as the first one, but that's, that's spectacular, that. For one tiny screw. Past 80 kilos. 80 kilos. If you've got, what, six of these on a draw runner, I think you'll be all right. Let's go for the next one. Third one. We've gone now to a gold screw. So this is a much, much smaller screw and a less aggressive thread on uh, the gold screw as well. Or much less aggressive than the, the turbo gold. Yeah, it basically, it doesn't have the self-drilling tip and it doesn't have the rifled shank on it. And also this time, this is just a three and a half by 16 mil. So this is a shorter screw. This is more suited for things like cabinet doors where you don't want to risk it coming out the other side, but it is quite a thin screw, but we'll see what it can put up with. The other nice thing about these is that for some draw runners, they need a really small head on them, otherwise the, the head of the screw can get caught on the draw runner. So these are quite useful to have, just to avoid having a screw like the pan head screw, which sticks out further, and as I say, you can get into problems with that on certain types of draw runners where it just doesn't fit. But then you get other types of draw runners where the hole's too big for this and the, the head will go all the way through the hole. So sometimes you, you're gonna have to have that to hand and sometimes you're going to need these. Oh, and these are £1.59 for 200 screws from Screwfix. So they really are. They're great quality screws, but they're, they're pennies, honestly. So cheap. Let's go for it. Take 
the slack. This is a much smaller screw than the screws we've tested before, so I'm not expecting this to do anywhere in the it as well, but let's see how it does. We're already past 50 kilos on the one tiny little screw. 60, wow. No way. No, right, okay, we're past my body weight. It's gone. And here, that's it. Not sure, 80-ish, I'll need to double check the footage on that one. Wow, didn't expect that for such a small screw. That's crazy. Right, we're into the first of what unbranded screws here. So I don't know what this screw is. All I know is, is that it came with some Euro hinges. I tend to avoid using the screws that come with the hinges because sometimes the quality of them is terrible. I've had supplied screws where the heads have snapped off. I've had supplied screws where half of the pack has been posi drive and the other half has been Phillips. And as we know, this is a Phillips free zone in this workshop. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're rubbish. So, you know, if you go with your big manufacturers and stuff, they um, are probably gonna be all right, but I wouldn't like to guarantee it. Certain manufacturers, Blum and whatnot, sometimes don't supply screws. So you're not always gonna be able to rely on the supplied screws. I generally avoid using them. I do keep a batch of them just in case, but um, yeah. So we're gonna test some of the unbranded, just the supplied screws that come with Euro hinges. We'll see how it does. Ah. And when I say they come with Euro hinges, I mean, this is a bit that would go into the door normally. So size wise, I don't know. The, I'll, I'll measure these once I've taken them out, but I think, oh, I've got one here actually. Uh, it looks like four by, four by 16, would it be? That's a four by 16. Yeah, it looks like four by 16. Looked like it went past 80 again, so not done bad, not done bad. As I say, the main problem with these sort of screws is the, the variable quality that you get in them. Um, this seems to have been quite a good one. Number five in we'll test. This is a Euro cabinet screw. These are the sort that need a five millimeter pilot hole and they're very commonly used for holding the hinge brackets onto the inside of carcasses. They normally come supplied with the hinges are normally kind of bespoke-ish to the hinge, depending on the hinge design. What I would suggest you do with these, you can buy them, they're a little bit tricky to get hold of, or certainly to try and get the right size for the particular hinge that you're using. All I would suggest you do is whenever you rip out a kitchen, is you reclaim all of these cabinet screws and just keep them in a pot because it's handy to have a whole different range of sizes of these because you do run into certain types of hinge that need a really, really shallow head on it, like a shallow countersunk head. And you get some that need a big kind of pan head on them. There's loads of different types. I would suggest you just try and build up a bit of a collection of them. They've got a very coarse thread. They're normally about 16 mil long or thereabouts. And generally I've found the ones that have been supplied with hinges have been fine. So I wouldn't worry about trying to buy these separately unless you literally run out of them. Let's go for it. Come on. Can we breach the 100 kilos? Not quite, it's just given way, there it goes. Definitely went past 90. Impressive, I would expect it. There's a bigger surface area of thread on these screws. We got past the 90 kilos, not bad going there. Right, number six, we're back to turbo gold screws. Um, these are four by 16, so a bit of a wider thread on them. 
we're still at a safe length of 16 mil, so there's no risk of it coming through the other side of the of the 18 mil MDF. But we've just got a bit of a thicker thread on it to see what difference that makes. These are a little bit more expensive, £4.19 for 200 of them. Not going to break the bank. Let's go for it. Oh, that didn't do very well. How bizarre. Well, there you go. Isn't that weird? This is confirming what I'm saying about this being a more aggressive thread and whether or not the aggressiveness of the, like, you know, the rifled shank and the, the self-drilling tip, whether that's eating too much of the MDF away. Who knows? Didn't do too good, that one. Let's go on to the next one. Right, we're up on to our penultimate test here, number seven. So this is, it's another Turbo Gold. So exactly the same as number two in the test, except it's a four millimeter thread instead of a three and a half millimeter thread, but it does have the longer 20 mil thread on it, which might make it unsuitable for certain things. So for example, you wouldn't use that on a door because there's a reasonable chance that the tip of it's gonna poke out the other end. Let's give it a try and see how it does. Past the 90. That's it gone. Impressive. As I say, the only difference between that and the previous one is that this one is four millimeters longer. But as I say, you do run the risk of that, the tip poking out the other end. It's a bit of a gamble. You don't want to risk that on a expensive kitchen door that you're fitting for a customer and you accidentally put the screw all the way through. Test it. Test, 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 test. So this final one, number eight, is a silver screw. Again from Screwfix. Less aggressive thread than the Turbo Gold. Doesn't have the self-drilling tip. Doesn't have the rifled shank. It's still a carbon steel, good quality silver screw. Ideal for going into doors, for Euro hinges into doors. It's a four by 16, so there's no risk of it going all the way through. And these are the one pound 79 for 200. So again, pennies. Why anyone bothers using the ones that come with the hinges is beyond me when you can buy 200 that you know are good quality for one pound 79. Just bin the ones that come with the fittings, honestly. Here we go, let's go for it. Come on, do the hundred. Oh yes. Let's go and you can feel that's it, gone. Breached the hundred on that one. I'm really pleased because that's my go-to one for Euro hinges. A stunning set of results there, I'm sure you will agree. <laughs> Before I start, what the hell have I done to my neck? Absolutely no idea. Anyway, I'll quickly take you through the all of the results and then I'll tell you my top three screws that I would recommend that, well, that I would always try and carry around anyway. All I can say is, across the board on the results, nothing got below 60 kilos. So 60 kilos, that's a substantial weight for a tiny little screw to take. So I wouldn't worry too much about the screws that you are using in MDF. Um, it's just making sure that you've got a wide enough range of screws to cover all the different scenarios that you're gonna run into, really. But all of them did pretty well. So I'll take you through the results in reverse order. So in at number eight was the Turbo Gold 4 by 16 millimeter and that got 63.4 kilos. Not bad, but that, that did the worst of all of them. Number seven was the Easy Drive 8 by half inch Imperial flange head screw, got 64.2 kilos. Number six was the Gold Screw 3.5 by 16 mil, and that came in at 85.6 kilos. And then closely behind that at number five, 
was uh, supplied unknown screws that come with some um, concealed hinges and they came in at 86.2 kilos I think we measured that at 4 by 16 millimeters for the particular screws that are tried but unknown brand at number four was the turbo gold three and a half by 20 mil coming in at 88.5 kilos and then number three was the turbo gold four by 20 mil at 91.1 kilos of axial load on that before it failed or the peak load at number two was the euro cabinet screw which came in at a huge 96.9 kilos of force on those before they failed and at number one the best performing screw out of all of them was the silver screw four by 16 millimeters so only a 16 mil screw and a four mil thread on it at 103 0.3 kilos which is just awesome so in terms of the top three that i would recommend that you carry around with you i would definitely recommend the one that came in at number one the silver screw 4 by 16 that's a really useful versatile screw to have kicking about great for um cabinet doors fantastic for that that's your cabinet doors just nailed with that particular nailed screwed 103.3 kilos on a single screw that's just insane i would also suggest having the easy drive flange head screws because they are a great problem solver even though they only took 64.2 kilos so they came second last in the test they're so handy for loads of different scenarios like brackets uh, as i say certain types of draw runners basically anything where uh countersunk screw just isn't going to do the job and this is going to give much much more support on on like l brackets and maybe you're going to be attaching the top of a unit to the wall and you need some way of attaching an l bracket onto the top of a unit those little flange head screws are, are great for that and remember in that sort of situation you're looking at a shear load on the screw anyway not an axial load and the third screw I would recommend you carry around is the gold screw three and a half by 16 mil. And that's purely because it's really handy sometimes to have a, a much smaller screw with a smaller head. Again, you can run into some uh, draw runners that need quite fine screws on them. So the head of the screw doesn't caught, get caught on the runner. As I say, it's a less aggressive thread than your turbo gold type screw. And as we saw before the turbo gold 4x16 didn't perform particularly well so if you're looking for a 16 mil length of screw you probably find that that gold screw three and a half by 16 performs better than the turbo gold 4x16 and it gives you as i say a smaller head on as well i would also suggest having a pot of the euro cabinet screws to hand and as i say reclaim them from every set of hinges that you put in the bin as long as they're in good condition and the heads are okay on them just keep them because you do run into situations where you need different types of them depending on what you're fitting very handy screw to have kicking about as i say your bog standard silver screws that come with your euro hinges put and unless you're a hundred percent confident with them and you've used them for years and you know they're not going to break and you know they're not going to start randomly rusting which i've seen that happen on the supplied hinges uh, or the supplied screws i would suggest the supplied countersunk little like the 4x16s or whatever it is that, that come with hinges just put them in the bin some of them i mean i don't have no idea what some of them aren't even magnetic and i don't know is it some sort of non-magnetic stainless steel or I have no idea what these are made of. Either way, non-magnetic screws are a complete pain in the backside because they don't stick on the end of your screwdriver. So you, you don't want non-magnetic screws. Either way, I would suggest you just don't use them unless it's an absolute emergency and you've got nothing else suitable with you. Build up a collection of what you would consider to be the best ones, but I wouldn't use them as your kind of core screws for cabinet making, personally speaking. 
In terms of the other ones on the list, the Turbo Gold 35 by 20 they're really handy to have for, as I say, putting up wooden battening and putting brackets into wooden battening, where you're less concerned about it going all the way through the battening because you're never going to see it. They're handy to have. The Turbo Gold 4x16, probably don't need them. Um, the Turbo Gold 4x20 are good, but the 4x16 were better, so probably don't need those two. And at the end of the day, you use whatever screws you want to use. These are just a, a test of the ones that I tend to have kicking about in the workshop. So hopefully that has been useful for you. As per usual, don't go off my shady results from this very, very non-scientific test. Do your own testing or go by the manufacturer's specs or whatever. This is just a bit of fun just to work out what these kind of screws can get away with in MDF but hopefully it has been useful I, I think it's been quite interesting we will be doing at some point a test into MDF edge grain so if you want to see a particular type of screw tested in the edge grain test let us know probably within a couple of weeks of this video coming out but if you've got a particular type of screw that you want us to test in MDF edge grain do let us know in the comments and I will do my best to include that. Thank you once again for watching, you beautiful people. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall see you next time. Bye.